today i'm going to show you how to get the best rosters for mlb the show how to download them all that good stuff a lot of you've been asking how or what roster i've been using how to download a roster what is the best roster what do i do for my videos well let me show you it's really easy and i just feel like a lot of you guys just haven't really figured it out yet so i just want to help you out get you that best roster possible and let's get into it if you enjoyed today's video and it was helpful hit that like button down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content and of course in the comment section just let me know your thoughts all right so if you're just like you know what i don't really care about the roster i just want to hop into a franchise go to the top right hit settings go to file management hit load go to roster and hit live roster once this notification pops up you're pretty good to go this is the most up-to-date live roster that mlb the show has what i do recommend though save it go to roster save it and then just save it just whatever you can save it as a new type i'll just overwrite an old roster that i have but save it make sure you save it that way it, that way it is always there say you want to start a franchise down the line maybe around the trade deadline and you know you want to use an updated roster that mlb the show has come up with same thing just go to settings go to file management load live roster and that way you can find the most up-to-date roster the thing is if you have started a franchise save you will all like you cannot change the roster, right? So if you want to change a roster or use a different roster, you have to start a new franchise save, all right? So at the deadline, you can't just magically have the most up-to-date roster. You will have to start a new franchise save. So with that being said, you've downloaded the live roster like I just showed you. You start a new save and then just hit load saved roster and then click the roster save that was saved and you're good to go. Hop right into it, boom perfect everything's good to go the issue currently with mlb the show's live roster are is they are missing a couple prospects they're also missing a couple mlb players so there's that uh seya suzuki's missing uh i think a couple pitchers from the rangers are missing a couple prospects are missing some potentials and overalls are a little wonky so just keep that in mind but like i said if you want to just use the mlb the show roster there it is for you if you're a little bit more picky about your roster. You really want to find a, a, a specific roster. Say you want to use like an all-time roster or a legend roster. Let's go to the vault. So you're going to go to the top right, a little paintbrush, create section. You're going to go to vault and you're going to hit R1. So here we go. There's plenty of rosters here. There's a, there's a lot of good rosters. There's a lot of good roster makers. One of the best roster makers hasn't even dropped their roster yet. Riding rosters slash scout scoops. They always come out with a very, very, very good in-depth roster. It has prospects, top players, like everything. The, the overalls, the potentials, everything is super in-depth. They've tweeted out recently that they're still about a couple weeks out from the drop from their first roster. So if you can wait that long, I highly suggest that you wait that long. But if you can't, you want to get right into it, this is how you get a roster. So say we're on the roster page. Currently, there's 63 different rosters. Right next to me, it says the button for search slash sort. So if you hit that, you can sort by the date that it was released, the name of the roster, the rating, the downloads, all that good stuff. What I normally do is I just leave it by date. Let's say you wanna search by a specific thing. You can search by the name, or if you know a person that makes rosters, you can search by their online ID. So say you want a legends roster. So you have legends, typed out or i'll just put this and then you'll search it and then you can see there's plenty of legend rosters currently if you're looking for like an updated roster you can type in like opening day or 2022 roster i'll just type in update and see what kind of things comes up um you can see oh updated rosters with ratings work in progress update you can see opening day roster update so there's plenty of updated rosters and like i said there's people who make really really good rosters you can search for like 2010 rosters i'd wait a little bit because the game just came out so people are still working on the rosters but um up to date rosters there's um old school rosters all time rosters all that stuff here so with that being said i want to show you this roster that i have so i'll back out we'll go to vaults and as i'm making this roster this roster right here is missing one key change so i'm actually going to take this roster down and i'm going to re-upload it right after I finish recording this video. So the name is gonna stay the same. The PSN is gonna stay the same. So this is the roster that I have been using for my videos. Like I said, there's one missing thing and that's the Key Brian Hayes extension. So I'm gonna fix that and then I'm gonna re-upload this roster for you guys. So 
the re-uploaded up-to-date roster will be good to go when you're watching this. So the name will be the same, the Ant Ortiz V1 and the PSN will be the Ant Ortiz. Updated potentials, updated overalls, missing players, all that good stuff. As I'm recording this, JP Crawford just signed an extension. That was already fixed. So like I said, I'm just missing the key Brian Hayes extension. I will fix that and then that roster will be good to go. So again, the name is the Ant Ortiz V1. The Ant Ortiz is the PSN. If you search that, it'll be up to date. You'll be good to go. So ignore the time, 9.53 a.m. That's not going to be correct. Like I said, I'm going to I'm going to fix that one change that I totally forgot about the contract extension. But otherwise, most things should be up to date. It's not a perfect roster. I would say it's kind of like a a, a mix between like a, a rough draft and a, a final draft. So like right in between that. It was just a quick little roster that I came up with so that you all could have something that was a little bit more up to date than the MLB The Show roster and would play a little bit better for franchise just for you all. So with that being said, the way that you will download it is you'll search my name, the Antortiz V1, you'll download it and then just save it. All right. So boom, you'll save it. I'll overwrite this one because that's fine. It's just whatever. But you can save it. And then if you go into the roster, you don't like a couple things, you want to change it. So what you'll do is you'll load that roster. So saved roster, you'll load it. Say you want to change someone's potential or their overall or their, their position or their uh, an attribute about them, whatever it is, go to roster control after you've loaded that roster, you'll hit edit player and then just go to whoever you want. So say I'm like, you know what? Wilson Contreras, he doesn't have, he doesn't have a potential. He has B potential, right? So just drop it down or you want to boost the contact or whatever it is. You can always edit the player here. When you're done editing a player, hit finish. Always make sure you hit finish. I'll, I'll show you. It's in the bottom. Always make sure you hit finish and then accept changes and proceed. And uh, like I said, I've added Seiya Suzuki into this. He's here. I've added the couple pitchers for the Rangers that were missing in Leclerc and Hernandez. So with that pitch mix is a little off potential and overall might also be a little bit off as well i had to get these players from the player vault so they're not actually like they scanned and everything like that these are all created players so suzuki and leclerc and hernandez are new there's also christian hernandez and braylon marquez that were missing and a couple other tweaks that i've done but i wanted to show you these so that you had them so say you've done that you've got all your editing done everything's good to go save the roster you can name it whatever you want you can keep it the same name whatever it is save your roster that way you don't have to go back and make these changes every single time you want to start a new franchise so save your roster you're good to go and then again just start a new franchise load saved roster and boom click that roster that you saved it as and you're good to go like i said i'm gonna take down that roster i'm gonna re-upload it for you so when this video goes live it'll be good the roster should be set everything's good to go for you all because i wanted to get a roster like i said that was up to date had the potentials had some missing players contract extensions current transactions and everything like that it's not 100 percent. i know some of you are going to disagree with some of the ratings and the potentials that i put out there and that's okay i'm perfectly fine with that this was just a quick little thing that i put together so that you all had a little bit more of a enjoyable roster to use for franchise. That's what I'll say. So I hope you did enjoy today's video. I hope it's helpful for you. Again, if you have any questions or you know concerns or anything like that, drop that in the comment section. I'll definitely check it out. I'll try to get back to you. Um, if you want to tweet me a picture of the roster, like, hey, I missed messed something up or you know something was wrong, tweet me a picture. Yeah, go ahead. Just uh, send me a tweet and I'll, I'll update it. And like I said, I, I can't guarantee that I'm going to keep up to date with this all the time i'll definitely have some other versions of the roster that come out over the year it's just i i can't guarantee it's going to be like a weekly thing or a monthly thing there will be new up-to-date versions as the season goes on but i can't guarantee how often it will be so here's one for opening day for you to get ready and enjoy your franchise so i hope you enjoyed today's video again if you did hit that like button if you're new here consider hitting subscribe and that's about it i'll catch you in the next one peace did you enjoy today's video? If you did, I've got another one for you right here. Boom, right there. Check it out. It's going to be great. Recommend this one.